Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, January the 23rd. It's the third week after the Epiphany and week three in the Psalm Cycle. And thanks for joining me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Alleluia. Psalm 48. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised in the city of your holy mountain. Mount Zion is beautiful and the joy of the whole earth. For there is the city of the great king. You are known as a refuge in her palaces. For the kings were assembled. They passed by together. They saw it and were amazed. They were troubled and hurried away. Fear took hold of them there, and pain like that of a woman in labor, like the ships of Tarshish shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of God Most High of Hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise is like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth, and your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your greatness. Walk about Zion and go all around her. Count her towers and mark her bulwarks. Consider her palaces, that you may tell the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever, and will be our guide until death. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my God, you are great, and greatly to be praised. Alleluia. The letter to the Hebrews, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. Now the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly sanctuary, for a tent was constructed. The first one, in which were the lampstand, the table, and the bread of the presence. This is called the holy place. Behind the second curtain was a tent called the Holy of Holies. In it stood the golden altar of incense, and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid on all sides with gold, in which there were a golden urn holding the manna, and Aaron's rod that budded, and the tablets of the covenant. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. And of these things we cannot speak now in detail. These preparations have thus been made. The priests go continually into the first tent to carry out their ritual duties. But only the high priest goes into the second, and he but once a year, and not without taking the blood that he offers for himself and for the sins committed unintentionally by the people. By this the Holy Spirit indicates that the way into the sanctuary has not yet been disclosed as long as the first tent is still standing. This is a symbol of the present time, indicating that gifts and sacrifices are offered they cannot perfect the conscience of the worshiper, but deal only with food and drink, various baptisms, regulations for the body imposed until the time comes to set things right. But when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of the ashes of a heifer sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God? Here ends the lesson.
Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Almighty and everlasting God, accept our praises, for we have seen your justice, and we are glad in you. Be our guide from this day to the next, now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.